life cycle of the monarch butterfly. Introduction. The brilliant colors of the monarch butterfly flash over most of our continent in warm weather. Thus, it is one of our best known butterflies. Its unpleasant taste protects it from birds so that it can fly in the open. It may be found wherever milkweed grows. The male and female are colored alike, but the male's hind wings have scent pockets. The egg is laid on the underside of a leaf. When the tiny caterpillar hatches from the egg, he begins at once to eat the leaf. As he grows, his skin becomes too tight, splits, and peels off. A soft new skin is underneath. This molting process is repeated until he becomes full-sized. It takes two or three weeks. Then he stops eating and seeks a twig to hang from. He spins a silk pad on the underside of the twig. His tail has tiny hooks, which he fastens in the silk. He hangs this way for about a day. Then his skin begins to split. His movements aid the process. The skin splits first over the thorax. Notice the white silk pad on the twig. The split continues over the head. Notice the hooks on the tail. The wing pads of the pupa are uncovered here. The old skin is pushed towards the tail. The muscles contract to loosen the tight skin. The dried up skin soon falls away and the new skin hardens. The butterfly is now a pupa or chrysalis. Its green and gold makes the monarch chrysalis extraordinarily beautiful. At close range, you can observe the wing veining and breathing pores. After about two weeks, the pupa skin splits and the butterfly emerges. It hangs on the old skin while, it, while it's crumpled. Wet wings unfold and dry. Soon it will be able to fly away. The wings have expanded and are now dying and hardening. The monarch feeds by sipping nectar with his long, coiled tongue. Since the monarch has no defense against cold, he must migrate. In early autumn, great swarms assemble to travel south. In spring, they return one by one, following the growth of milkweed. Eggs are laid on the way, and the young fly north also. Monarch butterflies gather for fall migration. You know, they don't mention that that round trip is really three different butterflies. Near what plants may we find monarchs? How is the pulpa attached to the twig? What causes the caterpillar to shed his skin? Why does the monarch migrate? Of course, those were the questions for discussion. The end.